拉手，对，这两条，这两条都可以走。Hey, what's up, guys? This is Andrew Lai from Quasmire Airsoft. Today we got a special event going on, and this is the Hill Fox Hundred Folks. This event was well organized by KUI, and more than 100 players attended the game. And there were special operations, missions that players get to do with teamwork. And I believe with Quad's new filming method, this game will give you a brand new experience. Now, buckle up and let's get started. Today's event was located in Taichung, a place called Wang Gao Liao. That is where Hill Fox is located. I got there early so I can get a better spot. Yo, Ian. I, oh, I, 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 好，谢谢。Now the game modes. The players are separated into two teams: the red team and the blue team. The objective is to find a bomb hidden somewhere on the map, and whoever deploys it needs to defend it till it goes off. The Hill Fox is a semi-large field. The middle part of the field is a large outdoor CQB. And around it, it is the forest and bushes that provides great cover for snipers. Basically, a very dynamic field that suits many play styles. My loadout of the day are GHK URGI upgraded with a type of bucking, an Army 604 GBB pistol, and I used the two Insta 360 1R to film this awesome game. And last but not the least, a good old run cam to capture all my BB shots. As the blue team, we get to start from the forest, and we had to walk a little bit and wait for the game to start. Meanwhile, the red team will deploy it around the CQB field, and the blue team will need to conquer each point. Both teams will need to find a bomb as soon as possible, deploys it, and starts defending. Despite it is still far, I saw some red team. And with Jess and Lewis's cover fire, I rushed towards to cover near C. Okay. Hold on. At this point, all the objectives were taken by the red team. I decided to take objective C since it is less defended. After taking out a few guys, I figured I needed some more hands. So I fall back and found some teammates to take down Objective C all at once. Go, go, go. 
Since we're still kind of far from Objective C, my buddy Quigo and I wanted to bait the red team out. So we know how many of them are still around. But they are smart. Not a single BB came to us. Eventually, we surrounded Objective C and more red team gets taken out by the blue team. I decided to make a final charge so we might have a chance to clear out all the enemy players. I died, but thankfully we got Objective C. Okay. This time I moved to the middle of the CQB field so I can take down the cargo step by step. The cargo on this map is extremely crucial. If the red team gets a hold of it, it will be very hard for the blue team to take it back. <laughs> Here I tried to take down a few guys on Objective F. However, they already had their sights on me, and I got no shots. At this point, I heard my body shouting out the red team is taking the cargo. I had to go and see what I can do. Before taking the whole cargo, the dynamics of it is very narrow and short distance. Using a pistol would be more ideal. So far, we know there are a few guys hiding, but not sure how many. Maybe I should get a grenade next time. Okay. Respawn, and let's try it again. really want to try out my pistol skills. Oh, oh, oh. I got a little excited, and the result was I got shot into a hundred. Okay. Since the red team is still trying to take the cargo, I had to make sure they don't succeed. They got a shield? Ah, screw it. I'm sorry, shield guy, but let's do this. <laughs> and thankfully, our teammate took the cargo down, and also, we found the bomb. 
After the game, I feel really sorry, but I couldn't find a guy. So, if you are watching this video, here's my sincere apologies. My bad, bro. And don't forget, if you are using a GBB, Puff Dino really is the way to go. Stable, consistent, and high pressure. On the next episode, the blue team finally got the bomb deployed, and I want to show you guys how one spot can really change the tide of the game. beautiful long-range shots recorded and I must admit I enjoyed those quite a bit. Moreover, the red team has called out the Warhammers and those guys are freaking bulletproof. Wanna see how we stop the Warhammers? Stay tuned for part two.